Hey, how's it going guys? Chris here, showing some more Elite weapons in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, and today I'm going to be focusing on the Elite NA45 variation called Screaming. Like all the other Elite and Professional weapons, this can be unlocked through Supply Drops, but you can't actually use this one until you reach rank 26. Now, in case you don't already know, the NA45 is a very unique sniper rifle, and it performs a lot differently to the other snipers in this game. It fires explosive rounds, but the bullets don't actually explode on impact. First, you have to fire a tracker round, and then it's your second bullet that explodes. Though it'll only explode if it's fired at or very close to the initial tracker round. Though you can still use it as an ordinary sniper rifle, but you'll never kill it one shot unless it's a headshot. So most of your kills will come from this sniper's explosive damage. The gun only has two bullets before it has to reload, and the first is the tracker round that has a little red light on it. The second is the bullet that causes the bang. It's probably the only sniper rifle you'll ever see that rewards you for actually missing your target. Okay, so the screaming variation of the NA45 gives a plus 3 fire rate bonus, but takes away 2 points for its handling and 1 for its damage, meaning it'll fire quicker than the standard version, and this is pretty good because you can get that track around onto your, or near to your target, and then follow up quicker with your second round to blow them up, essentially double tapping. The negative handling point shouldn't affect this too badly as the explosive damage, if near to or directly on your enemy, will kill them anyway, though they might not die if your rounds aren't next to them. The handling shouldn't be too bad either as I didn't notice much of a difference between the original NA45 and Screaming and the way they performed. ADS time and hipfire didn't seem to change much between these two versions. Now before we get onto the attachments, I'm first going to talk about the perks that you can use with this weapon and the perks that are good against this weapon, and if people are using this gun against you. Because this is an explosive gun, it deals explosive damage. This obviously means the Danger Close perk is best suited, and should deal a little bit more damage on your shots. I didn't notice a huge improvement with this, but it did kill a few players that might otherwise have survived if I wasn't using Danger Close. Though of course, to counter the explosive damage from this weapon, you could use Flat Jacket, Anyone using the perk became a huge problem when I was using the NA45 screaming, as my round could explode right at their feet, and yet they'd still survive. Though not many people choose this perk, so this didn't happen too much. Though on those rare occasions, they usually ended up killing me. As far as the attachments go, I found that the variable scope zoom worked pretty well. There isn't much, if any, weapon sway with this, and it's a very clear sight to use. Though the standard optics are actually quite good too, if you didn't want to take up one of those pick 13 slots. Though I highly recommend using the ballistic CPU to counter that sway if you do that. I found the ACOG to be pretty rubbish, really, with this gun. Because you need your shots to hit close together, the ACOG sway was stopping this and making it very hard to use. The thermal sight is also a good choice that you could try out. The stock is also a good choice as well, allowing you to strafe in and out of cover or to line up them shots whilst you're aiming down your sights. Some good tactics with the NA45 screaming is to get high up and shoot at the floor next to your enemies. If they're close enough to the track around when the explosion goes off, it will kill them. And as you might have seen in this gameplay, I sometimes like to use the hover exo ability with the overcharge perk to stay in the air whilst I do this bit like an angel of death firing explosive rounds from the sky. Though you will be very vulnerable while you do this, but because of the explosive splash damage you don't really have to be so accurate and because you don't actually have to hit your targets, you just have to shoot near them on the floor and the explosions will go off killing them anyway. You could also create little traps for them, firing your track around at the floor in the path of an enemy or where they're about to be and as soon as they get close enough or run over the track around, fire the second shot and blow them sky high. Overall, I quite like using the Screaming NA45. It felt like a nice change to the other weapons in the game, with that extra fire rate bonus for this variation meant that I could double tap a little bit quicker and deal that explosive damage a little bit sooner. If you get this weapon in a supply drop, give it a shot. Though remember that this doesn't play out like other snipers in the game, and it's often more effective shooting at the floor near your target than actually at them. If you enjoyed this video, show your appreciation by tapping that like button, subscribe to see more weapon guides and gameplay tips. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.